I'm Richard Southern in the 680 newsroom with a look back at some of the big business news stories of the past week. When it came to stocks and currencies, it was all about one thing. Donald Trump. He took the oath of office on Friday, becoming the 45th U.S. president. And uh, markets have really rallied since the election in the states on November 8th. And we did see a continuation of that as uh, Trump officially became the U.S. president. Stocks rose in the Friday trade. TSX was up more than 100, and it was a money-making week for both the Bay and Wall Street markets. Canadian dollar, though, under a lot of pressure, not only because of the Bank of Canada. We had the central bank get governor, uh, Stephen Polis, this past week, saying that he stands ready to cut interest rates if Trump's protectionist policies derail Canada's economy. Then, in his inauguration speech on Friday, Trump certainly did sound very protectionist, talking about buy American, hire American. So the loony down more than one and a half cents God this week, America. closing just above 75 cents U.S. But again, not a bad week uh, overall for stocks. Interesting news in this past week on what it costs these days to raise a child. New report out looking at what it costs to raise a child born in 2015 to the age of 18. The total, just over $233 thousand dollars housing was the largest expense at 29 percent of the cost food prices are expected to rise here in 2017 and that's costly news for parents of teen boys the cost of feeding a boy between the age of 14 and 18 is 311 bucks girls in the same age group average 233 dollars speaking of food some important news in on mcdonald's canada it is no longer nut free. And this is a, a very critical news to the two and a half million Americans who have a nut allergy. McDonald's says it's going to start serving a, a new uh, ice cream dessert that has nuts in it. And this is the first time they've served nuts that haven't been individually sealed in packages. And the company says this is the first of more products to come that will contain non packaged nuts. So a big heads up there. Do you have a record player? More and more Canadians do. They're still listening to vinyl, despite this age of digital music that we live in. It was reported this week that vinyl will become a billion dollar industry here in 2017. First time that's happened since the early 80s. Uh, vinyl sales were up 26% year on year in 2016. That was the sixth straight year that we saw double digit growth for those old school vinyl records. Finally, some interesting news on some uh, two very notable superheroes. Two big movie costumes are going to be hitting the auction block soon. One of them, Superman. It is the costume that Christopher Reeve wore in the 1978 original Superman movie. It uh, has a detachable cape, and you can see two uh, holes at the top of the costume. That's where the uh, strings went in for the flight scenes in the movie. The bidding starts at 40000 on this. You can also put a bid down on the suit worn by Michael Keaton in 1992's Batman Returns. You know how popular Batman is. This is expected to go for top dollar. The bidding starts at $35,000. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.